Hey Lug Nuts, it's me Meredith here with Lug Unplugged and I wanted to show you my Bouquet Red Roundabout 2 and show you how I have it packed, especially right now because we are still in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. The stay at home order here in Michigan has been lifted, so we are allowed to go out. Our shops are like, the shops are limited in the numbers they're allowed to have people in, but, uh, but we're still dealing with it. We're still wearing masks. So I thought I'd show you what I do with my bags to make that so that it's still a useful piece there. This front pocket is where I keep my phone. It's, this is an iPhone 6S. It's not a six like plus, it's a normal size. And when the bag is, like it fits, but when the bag is full, and it's not that full, when the bag is full, it's a tight squeeze. Um, and perhaps it's because I have kind of a bulky no slip case. Well, it's not super bulky, it's a life proof case. Um, but when I put it in, it doesn't go in as easy as I want. That's my little, pop socket getting stuck but it does fit it does close so but if I'm gonna be pulling my phone in and out a lot this one is not it, oh yeah see one-handed it's not the easiest to do the second slot slot here the second compartment is the built-in wallet so on in the middle section there's a little clear view so I have my uh, driver's license there I have insurance cards behind it here's where I keep my four most used cards and then on this side are uh, frequency cards. Behind that is cash. And then over here in this this um, cargo pocket, which could be a place I want to put my phone. It might be easier to get in and out. I have coupons. Coupons, frequency cards, all those things fit right into that cargo pocket there. So once I zip that up, I'll show you the back compartment. Now this is where I kind of have my COVID zone. So I have two masks sitting in there because it's so wipeable that makes it really convenient i also have hand sanitizer back there and then inside that mesh compartment i have medication so that it's separate um, from the rest but it's still easy to get to it won't fall out uh, if i open it quickly and pull a mask out uh, nothing else is going to come with it that shouldn't i still have um, this back compartment it's just a little slip pocket and so I can throw my mask in there once I've done using it to try and differentiate between the clean and dirty masks. Uh, this purse also has the ability to wear it as a uh, hip bag, a like fanny pack. You just move the strap here to do that. Uh, I'm surprised at how heavy it is. Uh, it could be because I, I don't, my phone's not even in it. And this is heavy. Um, I don't like maybe all my cards weigh more than I expected them to um, oh you know what it is I have a lot of change right now it could be that I quite have a lot of change that I put in that middle section that's what's weighing it down um, with it being as heavy as it is uh, it it has a wristless wristlet strap but I can't imagine using it as a clutch it's bulky it's not like I can really grab it too much and hang on to it like this because it's so heavy right now um, and it's heavy enough that I don't think I'd want to wear it as a hip bag either. It's it's extra weighty right now. So uh, what do you think about that? Do you have the roundabout or roundabout two? Does yours get too heavy to wear as a clutch or a hip bag or a fanny pack? Uh, let me know. Uh, by the way, this bouquet red has these triangle and diamond quilting on the front. I think this is the only bag I've seen this, this quilting pattern in. Uh, and it's all right. It's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite of the quilting. I'm surprised that when they updated the roundabout to uh, the roundabout to the roundabout two, they updated the roundabout to the roundabout two. I'm surprised they didn't change the quilting at all. They kept it with this uh, triangles diamonds quilting. I'm also surprised that they didn't try and get that pocket to fit phones even a little bit easier. So uh, what do you think? Did you buy one? What color did you get? Comment down below, I love to hear from you. Uh, and thanks for watching, please subscribe and click like, uh, uh, that would be great, thank you.